morning. Our scripture reading this morning is from the book of Psalm chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in the green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right paths as he has promised. Enemies can see me. 
you welcome me as an honoured guest and fill my cup to the brim. I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life and your house will be my home forever. Hello again, I hope you are doing okay and staying safe. So our focus this morning is from the book of Psalm and um, we will be talking about the Good Shepherd. So when I was still in the Philippines, two of my brothers had cows. Both were good in raising animals. Every day they would take their cows to the field that has green grass and to feed them. While their cows were eating, they were reaping or gathering fresh grass too 
to take home so that their cow would have something to eat at night. They also built a shelter to protect them from rain. But one day, one of the cows got sick. The cow did not want to eat and was just lying down on the ground. My brother took good care of his cow while he was sick. He manually fed it, gave a cow a warm bath, and called the vet to check on the cow. I was so amazed at how my brother showed so much care for this animal. He did not only care for it, but also I saw some love while he was raising or caring this cow. And I found some similarities in the ways my brother took care of his cow to the shepherds who took good care of their sheep back in David's time. Back in those days, a shepherd owned not only one, but a flock of sheep, at least 30 to 100. The shepherd knew all his animals because he watched them every day. Just like my brother took his cow to the field to feed them, the shepherd took his flock to the green pasture to feed them as well. He made sure that they were safe and secure, and they were, if they were in danger, he would, take his, he would rest his own life to save them. In our scripture passage this morning, in Psalm 23, David described the Lord as his shepherd. He claimed that the Lord is his shepherd. So let's find out why David said that, and how can we relate um, this um, concept today. First of all, the Lord takes care of his people like shepherd for his sheep in verse 1 to 4. The sheep could not voice their needs. However, the shepherd knows the needs of their animal. They put them in green pastures to feed them so they would be satisfied. He draws water from the well and gives them drink. The shepherd knows what they need even if they could not speak to tell what they need to their shepherd. And the Lord is our shepherd, and because of that, we do not need to worry about our needs. Because just like the shepherd is aware of what his flock need, the Lord is also aware of our needs. He knows what we need, and we can rest assured that he will meet those needs for us. He is our shepherd, and we will lack nothing. We do not need to worry, because God will provide. In the New Testament proves that with this divine promise, because Jesus advises us not to worry in Matthew 6, 25 to 34. Jesus tells us not to worry because God will provide. However, there is one hint. God will provide what we need and not the things that we want. He promises to meet our genuine needs. He provides for our needs because he cares for us. And that's what he showed to David before. He cares for David. He provides what David needs during the time that when he was a king. Second, the Lord guides, protect, and comfort his people. Verses 3 and 4. A shepherd knows the best um, feeding ground where he can bring his flock to feed. He guides them and directs them to the right and safe um, place. And in verse verses 3 to 4, David described the same thing about God. He was his shepherd who guided him when he was the king of Israel. And God enabled him to become victorious in every battle that he faced. The Lord, our shepherd, is our guide as well. He directs us on the path of righteousness. He does not want us to stumble on our journey. That is why he is always alongside us. To make sure that we are walking on the right path in life. The Lord is our leader who guides us so that we will not get lost. When the shepherd has his rod and staff, his sheep know that they will be safe and they feel comfort. The shepherd's staff is a sign of authority over his sheep. God's word is a symbol of authority over our lives that will bring comfort when we submit our lives to God. The Word of God helps us to resist temptation. Psalm 119 verse 11, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. It helps us to avoid making wrong decisions. Psalm 119 verse 105, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. It searches our hearts. Hebrew 4, 12, 
for the, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. And it convicts sinners and leads them to the cross of Christ in Acts chapter 2, 37 to 40. As, as we search the word of God, we will find plenty of comforting words that will inspire us and help us to grow in our spiritual journey with him. And lastly, the Lord shows us goodness and unfailing love in verse 6. A shepherd could not make all the sacrifices and the hard work to raise his flock of sheep if he did not have goodness and love in his heart. He loves his flock. He will do everything to make sure that they are safe and secure. He is doing all of this because of goodness and love. The Lord is so good to us. He gives us what we need. He protects us. He comforts and guides us. He is doing all of this because of love. And the ultimate proof of this great love is when he gave his son, Jesus Christ, as a sacrifice for our sins. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Imagine yourself carrying the heavy cross that Jesus carried for you. Can you endure all the pain that he suffered? Can you take all the mocking words that he received? Are you willing to die for your neighbor? Probably not, but Jesus did. And he made all of these sacrifices because he loves us. He did not want anybody to suffer. So instead of us hanging on the cross, he took the responsibility of doing it, even though he is sinless. But because of love, he sacrificed his love. And that's the ultimate sacrificial love. That's the ultimate shepherd. Every day, we should let our shepherd, our Lord, direct our path and our way because with him, we always have an assurance of security and blessing. Praying and reading his word is our instrument to access our shepherd. You must always communicate with the Lord, seek his words, and pray that he may lead you in the right direction. The Lord will never let you stumble if you stay connected with him. Last month, I attended a chaplaincy conference at Swanick, and one of the speakers used a quote that says, when life gives you more than you can stand, kneel. When life gets so difficult and we could not take it anymore, we just need to kneel in prayer because we have a good shepherd who sees and meets our needs. The Lord wants you to feel his love and it will only happen if you, if you let him lead your life just like a good and loving shepherd. So if you have problem, come and surrender to him. Bring it to your shepherd and rest assured that he will lovingly take care of you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your reminder this morning. Thank you because you are our good shepherd. Thank you because you protect us. You comfort us, you guide us, and you provide what we need. And thank you for that ultimate sacrificial love, Father, by sending your Son, Jesus Christ, on earth to die for us in order for us to have eternal life. So help, help us, O God, to continually see you as our shepherd every day. And I pray for each one of our family, our friends who are watching online, that continue to bless them and provide what they need and continue to be their shepherd in their everyday lives. Thank you, Father, and we love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Who I am, who I am. 